can't see each other anymore. I love you, but I'm just not in love with you. The way you smell sometimes is just... Ugh. Your voice when you laugh, it's just so grating. It makes me want to... I mean, I've actually never met a more unromantic person. The most disgusting, hilly skin I've ever seen. I completely hate your guts, and the restraining order is notarized and very legal. I ordered a professional hit on you, you boring jerk. Love, Angel. And you're looking in the wrong place, too. All right, little Caesar, step off. Step off, man. I've got a gun. I've got a gun in here. <laughs> you ain't got a gun, man. You're barely brave enough to carry a super soaker. That's true. Who, who, who are you? Who are you? You can say I'm a little bit of help sent by the big guy. The big guy she's been dating? No, not the big guy. I'm an angel, but not like the angel that's got you crawling underneath cars in your bear pajamas. Man, she's really done a number on you. Yeah, yeah, and it was a wonderful number, my friend. Uh, and I gotta find her. She was out here. I know it. So you're my guardian angel, huh? Uh, my name's Percy, by the way. I'm not your guardian angel. I just happen to be on duty. Okay. All right. Uh, how many angels have been assigned to me in the past? A lot. Maybe a little bit too many. I'm not that bad, man. <laughs> I got a list of things you've done, man. Look, look I, let me get the list. Let's see. No, no, look, that's that's terrible. All right, I don't want to see the list. Let's just go. I got to find this chick. Oh, Percy, why did this happen, bro? <laughs> Because you're, you're searching for human love, man. Human love has and is and always will be fallible. You put all your eggs in that basket, you're bound to get a letter like that once in a while. Oh, my heart. And you're kind of a tough guy to be around. You know what? You're a terrible angel. Yeah. Okay, but have I said anything untrue? That's not the point, man. This is fresh. I just got this letter, and there was a hole in my heart. It shouldn't affect you so greatly that you get a hole in your heart. Percy, let me ask you a question, all right, if you don't mind. Have you ever even been in love? That's a very bizarre question to be asking an angel. No, no, I'm serious, because it's important, man. I want to know, have you ever felt love? Because it's wonderful, okay? It's like every molecule on the planet Earth was formed for you, right? It is like everything suddenly makes sense in this chaotic universe. It's like everything is operating like a fine jazz. Do you Excuse understand? me. Oh, good Lord. You got any idea what time it is? Uh, uh, look, ma'am, I'm really sorry. We were just... You're sorry? Well, you're just out here yammering. Twelve feet from my bedroom window. Okay, uh, ma'am... What, what time you got to get up in the morning? I, I, I actually, I don't... Well, you know, Mr. Really, I don't really have to get up. I got to get up. I got to get four hours. Four hours, and I got to get up. I know, I know, ma'am. This is actually pretty embarrassing. Who are you even talking to out here? Who, who am I talking to up to... Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm talking to no one, I guess, mm -hmm. because I'm insane. Oh, great, great. 
was a real dirty trick you just pulled, bro. <laughs> Look, I can't be seen by everybody. It's protocol. And besides, she's a Scientologist. That's no good. Like John Travolta. When's the last time he made a good movie? He's a Scientologist. Man, it's dark out here. Yeah, it is. It's like that, uh... It's like that Rapture movie with Mike Seaver in it. Hold on, hold on. What's a Rapture and what's a Mike Seaver? Uh, you know, the, the Rapture. The classic Rapture, the biblical Rapture where all the... Oh, oh, the Rapture. Yeah, the thing you guys are all waiting for. I thought you were talking about an 80s band. Still confused about that Mike Seaver thing, though. You know, uh, Mike Seaver. Uh, the Growing Pains, you know. Uh, what is his name? I thought you guys loved him. Uh... Was it, um, was it Keith? Keith, maybe? Curtis? Is it Curtis? Man, this is really gonna bother me. Why are you here, anyway? To offer a little bit of help and keep you on focus to what really matters. And what really matters, Mr. Angel? Who you love and who loves you. I love Angel, man. Not you. Not you. Uh, the, the human girl, Angel. Appreciate it. I should have bought her Valentine's Day chocolates or pearls or something. If you think your problems were as deep as that, you certainly do have some problems. You can't buy the love you need to survive, Ryan. You gotta understand that. No, I can save this. A uh, diamond. Then now a diamond is forever. Yeah, Valentine's Day according to De Beers. I hate this holiday. No. Is it... Is it Cameron? Is it Cameron something? You know what, man? This is stupid. I'm, I'm going home. You know, you should really take into account this who loves you, who you no, love thing. No, there is nothing that can make this state any worse. There's no reason for me to be out here. I'm a big idiot. I'm just an idiot. something I can do for you, sir. Yeah, uh, this is this is my house. Uh, it, could you mind telling me what's going on? I'm sorry, sir, but we're currently standing in front of Angel's heart and not your house. And unfortunately, you no longer hold any real estate here. You've got... You've got to be joking me. Can, okay, can I at least come in and get my things? I am indeed sorry, sir. But there's nothing here that belongs to you. You okay, big guy? Process. I think I need to sit down for a while. <laughs> Take a seat, man. Well, Percy... Today could have gone a lot better, huh, man? Yeah, but it could have gone a lot worse, too. How? How? You tell me how today could have gone any worse than it did. Hey, Scientologist lady could have tried to convert you. I feel so alone, Percy. Well, you're not. Look, here. I picked this up from your place. Take on, my friend. That's the only Valentine you'll ever need. Straight from the heart of the Creator himself. Not so alone after all. Percy, this... This is incredible, man. Now that's a Valentine's Day card, according to the Bible. <laughs> you see what I did there? It was like De Beers, like from earlier, but I said the Bible. Oh, you're, st you're still taking it. I'm sorry, yeah, the, the whole God since you a love letter thing. Sorry. He even gave me stickers. Yeah, liking that to your jazz, buddy. Look, it's been really hostile. I gotta get going. Don't worry, I'll see you in a week or so due to your genius decision-making skills. Percy, I don't know how to thank you, man. Hey, no reason to thank me at all. Now, don't worry. You're just gonna wake up underneath your neighbor's car in your bed or maybe in a chocolate-induced coma, but you'll be fine. Just, just relax. Hey, wait a minute. How do you how do you get to the highway from here? Yeah, just just keep heading that way. Just 
just got to move on. Kurt Cameron. Hey, it was Kurt Cameron. One more kiss, dear. One more sigh. Only this, dear, is goodbye. For our love is such pain and such pleasure. Glory.